Hi, my name's Frankie Sutton. I'm, I'm a teacher at Abu Dhabi Men's College. I've been teaching in Abu Dhabi for 15 years. Uh, I've been teaching in the general education department at ADMC. Um, I used to teach just uh, English. However, now I teach cultural diversity and academic spoken English. <laughs> Well, it all began about seven years ago. Uh, I had just completed a master's in educational technology, but I was still rather... Um, I, 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 I'm not naturally a, a, a techie. And, uh, in fact, my son t used to always call me a digital dinosaur because I had problems operating the TV. However, I did really like the idea of what technology could do. I was in a classroom, I only taught them uh, a couple hours a week, I was teaching them reading, and I used it to motivate them to finish their work early. Uh, if they had completed their task and put it on their blog, they were allowed to go to breakfast early. And then one day we were doing role playing, and a student said, Miss, if we um, record our um, role play and put it on the blog, can we go to breakfast early? And I said, well, of course. At the time, I didn't know mobile phones could um, take pictures, let alone record videos. So, ten minutes later, they were eating their breakfast and we were viewing the video you know, in the class. So that got me thinking, actually, I don't need to be a wizard. These students know more than I do. If I just admit that I don't really know how it works, but, you know, if they can teach me or teach their other students and it is easier for them, and easier for me, and more fun, let's go that way. Um, and from then on, you know, my fear of not knowing the technology and letting the students do it, and me insisting that, you know, I'm the English teacher, you're just here to help with the technology and make it easier for everyone, um, it just blossomed. And definitely the relationship with the students got better because they, they enjoyed um, showing me what they knew and helping other students. Uh, from then on, I uh, insisted that every one of my students made a blog in their first lesson. Basically, again, that was for survival. I had 120 students and I just couldn't bear the thought. They all had to have a portfolio. I couldn't bear the thought of 120 portfolios on my desk. Um, so basically, uh, the students seemed to work harder when they knew it was going to be on view for everyone. Um, I got better results. I could tell whether they'd done anything or not because, uh, you know, I had a click, just a link. And nowadays I just have that link on my phone so I can tell exactly what students have done and when they've done it. Um, also, regarding the 120 students, getting to know them was very difficult um, and I, many of them were speaking students. I needed to know how good they were at speaking. So I insisted that they make an introductory video, just a very short video, which showed me how well they could speak and I wanted their personality to come through. I wanted it to be unique so that I could remember them. And the number one... Um, rule was, do not bore me. I have 120 students, don't bore me. Uh, so all kinds of interesting things came up. Uh, and I just find this is an excellent way as an icebreaker in the class. Also, I do have a record from the week one of their speaking ability and uh, definitely remember them more. <laughs> It's improved teaching because I definitely have a better relationship with the students. I know them better. Um, also, the students like technology uh, as a whole. They really do see the point of it. They really understand that this is going to help them. As I always say, you know, you won't be looking around for your work in the boot or under your bed and panicking the last week of term. We, we do have a record of it. Um, 
so that's definitely, I'm more in touch with the students and uh, more in touch with their academic pro progress because of it. Yes, uh, very effective, uh, immediately. Um, blogs are wonderful. Um, I think the students um, do produce better work because they do know it is out there for the public to see and uh, the supervisor can check instantly if, if, if I give him the link. So yes, I think it does work, blogs in particular, very, very well. To be honest, because of my way of dealing with it, um, i.e. I am the English teacher, I am here to make your life easier, but I am not the technician. Um, I am the digital dinosaur, you are the digital native. Um, I expect you to sort the problems. Uh, also, I made sure that I knew who the super geeks were in the classroom, and I made sure there was one in each group. And I insisted that they ask the super geek um, and not me. And of course, when they did discover new or better ways of doing things, to tell me, to tell the class. So I don't feel that once I admitted that I didn't really know all the answers, I felt um, it was far more relaxed and things got resolved without too much stress. Um, I find all technology engaging. They, they love um, filming themselves, um, blogs. Um, in particular, um, I taught OneNote, how to use uh, OneNote, which I found really very good. And what I found after I taught them for a week or so, I then realized that they knew a lot and that teachers ought to know this and in fact I arranged for workshops where my students taught uh, teachers individually and the teachers loved that because they felt the pressure was off them. I had in fact told them that uh, they were checking the students knowledge but in fact the students were teaching the teachers how to do one note and I found that extremely um, beneficial for students and the teachers. And teachers still tell me to this day, oh, that was one of the best workshops we ever went to. So, yeah, extremely beneficial. Yes, definitely, students are more motivated. Uh, for example, you know, if you've got to write an introduction uh, paragraph or film one, of course, it's going to be more fun filming it. So definitely the motiv motivation is, is higher. My latest venture with technology in the classroom is um, um, games, video games. Uh, I've become very interested in the gamification of education. This came about actually in my academic speaking course. I was trying to think of a subject, a topic, where um, the students would be interested in researching it and I would be interested in listening to it, as sometimes listening to dozens of presentations that um, are less than exciting, can be a little tedious. So I chose a subject of video games. And what I asked is, I showed the students the uh, serious video game uh, website, explained what they were, um, got the, choose, the students to choose a video game um, which had an important educational aspect to it. Um, there are many, many games out there now um, and dealing with all kinds of important subjects. Uh, the students chose topics such as um, development in Africa, um, Haiti, refugees, cancer, depression, um, um, business ethics, all kinds of things. Um, 
And what they had to do was look at the video, uh, video game, um, play it, learn how to play it with a partner, and then give a presentation on it. And then the um, further presentation was on solely on the social problem, the world's social problem, which had been highlighted in the video game. And this has been a great success. Uh, really, the students were motivated, very interested in, in the video games, and then went on to give fabulous presentations. I really do think um, this aspect um, needs to be followed up in um, education today. There are amazing video games now, uh, and the students are very, very motivated. I've just had them filmed um, talking about EVE Online and um, uh, Hearts of Iron, which is a history game. Uh, these students are playing these games out of school, uh, out of college. We really need to consider uh, which ones would have been would be used in college. Um, well, um, for my cultural diversity course, um, I designed um, an assessment. Um, it had to be about cultural diversity in the UAE and the effects of tourism on the uh, Emirati identity. All I said to them was, take your phones, iPads, etc., out uh, into the field, make a film, um, a group film, and uh, include various aspects. One student said to me, Miss, this was such an amazing learning process. I've never made a film. I've never been on um, an iPad or a Mac before. I took one hour to learn uh, how to use the Mac, and then we went out and we made a film. And this group got 100% for their film. So again, I reiterate, uh, I've never made a film on an iPad or a Mac. Uh, however, I do feel if you give the scaffolding to what you need done, the students will in fact find out how to do it, especially if you get them working together as a team.